How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for Superman and Lois Season 3, Episode 8, which was titled, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? And I apologize if my voice sounds hella whack right now. I'm sick, uh, as you could probably already notice. But, uh, so yeah, this review might be a bit shorter than normal, just because, you know, I'm not feeling in the mood to uh, really record, but daily uploading, so whatever. But, uh, you know, at least I'm not as sick as Lois in this episode. Okay, that was... All right, that was a dumb joke. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, Lois is very sick from the... Okay, that was stupid. Uh, anyway, she doesn't want to be a part of the uh, Mannheim story and tells Clark and Chrissy to just work on it in this episode. But then it's kind of confusing because, like, I mean... Yes, Lois has kind of formed this bond with Pia, but, uh, yeah, Pia's not a great person, really. I mean, especially when we saw, I think in the last episode, or was it the episode before that, where she kills all those people, it's like, I don't know, brother. And Bruno Mannheim, and, th yeah, they're not good people at the end of the day. I mean, they are complex characters, but, like, you know, they've done some pretty bad stuff. And, uh... In this episode, we also have Nat having dinner with Mateo and uh, obviously his parents. And we get the great reveal where John Henry finds out that Mateo is actually Bruno Mannheim's son. And I, I gotta say, the first half of this episode, I was like, eh, it's alright. You know, it, it, it's not amazing, but you know. But then by the end, I was like, okay, this is pretty great. It's a pretty great episode overall. Uh, I did like it a lot. But mainly because the last, like, 15 minutes were pretty solid and it's like wow but yeah that scene where john henry shows up at the restaurant and bruno's like nat is this your dad oh man that was badass and that scene where uh he you know rushes the kids out of the restaurant and like john henry's on his knees taking a beating from uh bruno is just it was intense i gotta say and then they have that like little fight scene in the uh alley where pia's like yelling a little bit goofy, I'll say. Some of the faces she was making. Uh, and the CGI is not great in that scene. That's more of a nitpick, but, you know, I had to mention it. it was, mainly some of the faces Pia was making in that scene. It's like, all right. But it was still good. Like, it was still pretty intense. And then obviously Superman shows up and Pia's, like, almost dying. So Superman takes her to the uh, hospital. And, yeah, it's uh, it was a good moment, though. Definitely the highlight of the episode. Uh, what else happened in this episode? We got Jonathan officially being like a junior firefighter. And then there's this burning building. And Jordan shows up, Superboy. And he ends up pulling a person out. But then Kyle thinks Jonathan interfered with it after he told him to stay put. And uh, then Jordan and Jonathan kind of get into a bit of a fight. Because Jordan, you know, was kind of pissed at Jonathan for... Uh, well, I don't really know why, but Jonathan's basically upset that Jordan kind of has, I think Jordan's, or Jonathan's just kind of jealous, to be honest, of Jordan, if we're being, if we're being real, but uh, anyway, at the end of the episode, Kyle's kind of like on to Jordan now, and kind of suspects there's another superhero out there, because uh, obviously it wasn't Superman, I mean, he doesn't know that it's Jordan, of course, but he thinks there's another superhero out there because of all the ice that was left over, great work, Jordan, leaving all the ice there, that was stupid, um, but, uh, we also got to see the, uh, Luther Air commercial, that was funny, and we also have some pretty interesting moments regarding Lex Luthor, actually, he wasn't in the episode yet, he, I, obviously he will be a part of this season, but we do find out that this recording where Luther is basically admitting to a crime, uh, is actually false, because it was made by Onomatopoeia, and it was like a, uh, reenactment of the, of Luther's voice, so basically, Luther is wrongly convicted of a crime he didn't commit, and we basically find out why he'll end up getting released, which will probably be very soon. I haven't watched the promo for next week's episode as of me making this video, so I don't know if Lex is in next week's episode, but if not next week, episode 10, probably. Uh, I'd be shocked if he comes in any later than episode 10, if we're being honest, Um just because, I mean, there's only, I mean, there's 15 episodes this season, but I do think that we'll see him shortly, and yeah, we, it was a pretty big reveal, actually, we get to know that Lex, Lu why Lex Luthor is getting released from prison, so that's kind of a big deal, but uh, 
yeah, I really enjoyed the episode. There was also some Cure music in this, which I liked. Uh, I love the Cure, you know, it's good stuff. Uh, Sam's trying, there, there was some other side plots in this episode. Sam's trying to date people. I, you know, who really cares, honestly? Uh, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it was pretty good. And it, it was weird because I think like the first part of the episode wasn't that great. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad, but like definitely the last few moments, last like 15 minutes elevated the episode for me and I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm going to end the review because my throat's hurting. Sorry if there's, if this review sucked, it is what it is, but I liked the episode. Okay. What are your thoughts on it though? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, check out my letterbox and Twitter down in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.